Hi, I'm Izzy R.R. Onyeka. I am a registered community health practitioner. I welcome you. Feel relaxed. In this short video, we are going to be demonstrating how to give effective immunization service during board exams. Make sure you don't leave without giving a like, a comment, and don't forget to share. Good morning, my examiner. I am candidate number B-22-001-004. I am here for my practical examination. All right. Here is Mrs. Gladys, a 28-year-old mother. She has four children. She lives in Oweri. Today, she came with her baby, baby Kioma, for immunization. Baby Kioma is 14 weeks old today. Please attend to her. Good morning, madam. I am Linda, a community health student. How are you and how is your baby doing today? We are fine, thank you. That's good to hear. Today is Kioma's 14-week visit. So we'll be giving her a few important vaccines to keep her protected from some serious diseases. I'll explain each one so you understand why we give it, how we give it, and what it does. First, she'll get a pentavalent vaccine, the third dose. This is one injection that protects against five diseases diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, hepatitis B, and a bacteria called Haemophilus influenzae type B which can cause meningitis and pneumonia. We give it as an injection in the left thigh. This is our last dose in the series, so after this, she'll have good protection. Next is our oral polio vaccine, OPV, the third dose. This is not an injection, just two drops in the mouth. It helps protect her from polio, a disease that can cause weakness or paralysis. It works best when combined with another polio vaccine, which we'll give also today. Then, she will also receive rotavirus vaccine, also the third dose. This is given five drops in the mouth. It protects her from rotavirus infection, which is a major cause of severe diarrhea in babies. After that, we'll give her pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, PCV, the third dose. This protects against a bacteria called pneumococcus, which can cause pneumonia, meningitis, and ear infection. This one is an injection that will be given in her right thigh. And finally, she, I will give her inactivated polio vaccine or HPV. This works alongside the oral polio drops to give stronger protection. It's an injection usually given in the right thigh. After today's visit, she may have some mild side effects, a little swelling or redness where the injections were given, maybe a mild fever. You can put a clean cool cloth on the spot and give her extra breastfeeding. If she develops a very high fever or any difficulty breathing, bring her back right away. Let's get started so that Kyoma can finish weekly. The student is expected to assemble the necessary items and the equipment for the injection procedure, such as vaccine carrier, wet and dry swabs, in gallipot, safety box, different syringes, etc. All of these should be in a trolley set for the procedure. The student is expected to wash their hands and dry with a clean towel. The student is expected to check the vaccine expiration the vaccine vial monitor to ensure the vaccine is in good stage for usage and note down the batch number should in case of any serious adverse event following immunization AEFIs of serious concern. The student is expected to withdraw the appropriate dose of the vaccine in the syringe. Linda gives all the vaccines as appropriate. After all the vaccines were given, Linda is expected to record all vaccine given in Kioma's immunization card and the facility register. Today, baby Kioma has received pentavalent, third dose, OPV, third dose, rotavirus, third dose, PCV, third dose, and IPV, second dose. She may have mild fever, swelling, or be a little fussy. You can place a cool, clean cloth on the injection site and give her extra breastfeeding. If she develops a high fever or difficulty breathing, 
please come back immediately. Our next visit will be at 9 months for measles vaccine, first dose, yellow fever vaccines, meningitis vaccine and vitamin A supplementation, second dose. Please keep our immunization card safe. It's our health passport.